Hello everyone! Mabuhay! Today, I'm going to show you my orchids in bloom in my sister's house. My previous video is also orchids in bloom but in my first and my mother's garden. And in this video are my orchids which I had for less than a year that I'm able to bloom and rebloom. First are my denrobiums. This first denro is a big orchid with full flowers. I'll put her name on the screen which I got from the seller. She only had four flowers left. The other buds blasted because of the thrips. I had an infestation which I discussed in my other video and they affected most of my orchids, especially the flowers. The flower of this denro is darker in person and has more purple tone. They are full and thick. Mataba ang bulaklak niya. And if you look at the back, ang ganda! So pretty! Sayang lang kasi this denro should have 7 more blooms. 11 dapat yung bulaklak niya. But I hope someday I can show you this orchid in full bloom because it's so pretty. The color is so rich. The blooms are full. Ang ganda talaga. This one is White Doraemon which is still in bloom. Her other buds also blasted because of the thrips. The blooms are already more than one month but they still look fresh. This one is so sad and I'm not proud of it but I told you that I'm going to share with you my ups and downs. I was so excited for this because this is her second spike. The first one had the worst case of thrips infestation and I thought that I already eradicated the thrips but maybe because of its blooms, the shape of her flowers, they are carnation-like and I think the thrips have more space to hide in the petals. So I will just cut this spike because maybe there are still thrips hiding inside and I need to totally eradicate the thrips so I'm going to spray pesticide once again after I cut the spike to ensure that this won't happen again a pretty denro to cheer us up I'm not sure of the name but I think this one is the denrobium dark french rose or denrobium mini mouse the other buds also blasted because of the thrips but I don't care because the flowers are so pretty and each bloom is unique. The first one has droopy petals and that's not old. The second one, the petals are arching back and look at the lip. They're so frilly, so pretty, so girly. And look how different they are from each other. They also have different shades of pink. And this third one has wider petals with lighter shade of pink. It looks similar to the flowers of Denrobium Sara Beauty. Let's look again at these two blooms. They are totally different. Their petals have different shape and color. I wonder how those blasted buds would look like if there were no thrips. These two also different. The second one has striping in the center of the petals. And the shape of how they display their petals is also different. Kakaibang ganda. This last denro is quite a popular one because I've seen this in other videos. Dendrobium inobi purple splash. And she is so cute. I think this is a dwarf denrobium and her blooms are so pretty, so dainty, white blooms with splashes of purple pink. I'm so happy because there are no blasted buds in her spike. But this is her third spike, the first two blasted still because of the thrips. And I'm so excited to see this in full bloom. Super ganda. My Catleya in Bloom is the amazing Thailand. 
and she's amazing. Napakagandang Katleya. My mother even wanted to take this into our garden. This is her second bloom. The first one, she had two flowers and right now she only has one. The color combination is also amazing. Yellow, orange, pink, red, white. She's just really beautiful and she is lightly fragrant. I can only smell her fragrance when I sniff her. And the scent is sweet lemongrass. I wish my other Catleyas will also bloom. I have three fowls in bloom, natives and hybrid. First is Phalaenopsis intermedia, native to the Philippines, a natural occurring hybrid of Phalaenopsis aphrodite and Phalaenopsis equestris. Her only one bloom came from this little keiki. And this is the plant. One leaf is yellowing because it rests on a wall that gets too hot during afternoon. She's in semi-hydro and that's the root she grew in this cup. And these are her old roots. Next is Palinopsis lindeni and I'm surprised that she's already in bloom. But I got her in my unboxing and she was already in spike. It was so tiny and now she is blooming. This Phalaenopsis is so tiny and it's endemic to the Philippines and she has beautiful mottled leaves. Her blooms are pretty and papery thin. And here they are, the Lindeni and Intermedia. So cute together. And because they're so pretty, I ordered another Philippine species Phalaenopsis with mottled leaves. I already have the Swarchana, Shilleriana, and this Lindeni. And I'm going for Phalaenopsis Philippinensis. So watch out for my next unboxing. And remember the file that I waited for the orange color to come? They are pure white. Maybe it was mislabeled. The code is CH100. I was expecting for an orange color, but this is her. She's still pretty. She's pure white. And she has a fun lip which makes her prettier. And for me, her nose looks like a pearl. And I have my wishlist orchid in bloom. On Sijum Shari Baby. This is the first orchid I bought in 2020 and she was already in spike when I got her. The spike was damaged during shipping but the flowers opened after a few days that I have this orchid. I am so happy. She is very fragrant. She smells like white chocolates. Can I make this bloom all the time? Please share your tips. And by the way, I would like to thank my subscribers. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Che from the Philippines. And I hope that you'll consider subscribing and watch my other videos. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you in my next videos.